Hi everyone, it's that time again to talk about the worst lyrics I've ever heard this month. I'm in poco love with some Hennessy. You the type of person eat your salad for your soup. Whoa. You the type of person that want no crib but want a coop. Wait, is this a thing? Are we dissing people over having improper dining etiquette now? Is that what's hot in the streets? I say, dear boy, you have your dessert spoon next to your salad fork. <laughs> a burst of music befuddlement. Left, right, bitch. Left, right, bitch. Diamonds on my neck and wrist. I try not to fucking drip. Bitch, you know I got the sauce. Fiji never voss. Okay, I know you're not bragging about the type of water you drink. We... We're not doing this. We are not picking favorites among fucking bottled water. That is the ultimate example of brand loyalty for the sake of brand loyalty. It's all fucking water. There's no difference. I'm drawing a line in the sand right now. If you're going to brag about having bottled water, it better be of a higher pH level or some shit that's actually worth bragging about. And what's with all this upper crust, highfalutin, richy rich talk anyway? I thought this type of hip hop was supposed to represent the streets. Uh, what's all this stuff about bottled water preferences and concern over what order you eat your meals in? If I wanted to hear rap that was meant to be played at fancy dinner parties and black tie affairs with top hats and monocles, I'd listen to Lupe Fiasco. The holler of shouts who's bright enough to pay a toddler to watch a ghoulish oxycotton gobbler on Hanukkah. Okay, I... I, I, I think I understand what's going on here. Like, okay, it's a rhetorical question about how silly it would be if someone paid a baby to babysit a drug addict. But then I'm like, what's the purpose of bringing up such a bizarrely specific metaphor whose impact doesn't really hit because of how overwritten it is in the first place? And then I'm like, wait, why does it matter that it's Hanukkah? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Maybe let's back up. Maybe maybe we'll get some more context if we see the lyric that comes before it. The cleaning lady crazy. She says she got a demon in the safe, but it's eating through the back and soon be leaving through the gates. Whoa, okay. Uh, I think I gotta tap out on this one. I... I just straight up have no idea what the fuck is going on. Maybe a Phoenix based multi million dollar laundry roof. I, 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 sure, sure, why not? Let it fly like the birds in the sky. He's advisor, this advisor, be advisor, we advise you not fuck with me and mine and keep in mind that we don't mind losing our minds. Free your mind, read your mind, read your mind, body take a week to find a castle, be like, never mind, what's on your mind? What's the pistol to your mind? Your Damn mind. thing. Hey, boss, the low weight lyric machine is broken again. It keeps spitting out the same rhymes. Eh, shut it down, anyways. We just got in the Drake robot. Oh, okay. In peace, in peace. May you rest, may you rest. You know, I was racing down the highway earlier today. Riding down 20. I happened to see a nigga I robbed back in the day. You know what? He was happy to see me. Oh man, I can't wait to hear how this story ends. What happened next? You can't just end that like that. There's no way that story ends there. Did you give him back the money? Did he rob you? Did the guy you robbed turn out to be your dad? Like, come on, what happened? Like, at least give us a to be continued or a- Would you like to know more? Like, something. I mean, personally, I'm questioning whether or not anyone would ever be particularly happy about meeting the person who robbed them, especially if that person now owns a really nice car. I'm guessing their internal monologue probably went more along the lines of, hey, there's that bastard that stole my rent money and he's surrounded by 10 bodyguards. <laughs> hey, how you been, bro? <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the episode. And hey, before you go, I'm officially taking requests for best songs and worst lyrics of 2018. So if you've got a favorite artist or bad lyric you don't think should be overlooked, drop down in the comment section and let me know about it. It might just make the list. It's actually happened before. It's how I found out about the Dream Chaser guy. So please, let me know. Also, join me on my Station Ed streams on Thursday, 7 p.m. EST, where we listen to and talk about music live. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.